Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin using logarithmic regression into the unknown. And yes, my four-year-old did make me watch Frozen 2 again. So, if you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. This is the chart we showed on the channel a few weeks ago, okay? And we wanna update it to show you guys where we are on our journey. So we've kind of, we've moved up past the purple band and into closing in on the green one. Now, the reason we use this chart is to show the, you know, the, the macroscopic price appreciation of Bitcoin. And you can see that while there are bear markets and they can be pretty brutal, Bitcoin still generally trends upward. Okay, this is why we're here. And we've come down to the same level, essentially, for this cycle and the cycle before. We held support generally between the orange and yellow regression bands. We also more or less did the same thing this cycle. The main difference this cycle is that we came up to the purple band in 2019 and then down to the blue one in 2020. It actually came all the way down to the blue end. Uh, this one just shows daily data, but if you were to show the, the drop all the way down to 3,800, it actually goes basically right down to the bottom of this, uh, of this band right here. So for this cycle, so far, it's been a lot more volatile than the last cycle. The last cycle had a much clearer market structure, just a general slow trend up. This one we came down, we had this nice rally in 2019 and then a capitulation in March of 2020. And now we've rallied up and we're closing in on the green band. Okay, so one of the things we can note based on you know just where we've been in the past is we can look at our peaks, we can look at the valleys. I'm not putting the first one on here because the actual price back then, the, the, the accuracy of it is somewhat dubious. Of course, it would be, it would be uh, this ROI from down here up to, you know, around 30 bucks or so would be higher than any of the other ROIs we have. But if you look at the two that we can clearly measure without any type of um, uncertainty, this was a 589x and then this one was 122x. So from, from cycle bottom, the price of Bitcoin went from uh, around two bucks up to over almost $1,200 which represented a, a 589X from market cycle bottom. This one went from 162.7 or so up to 19,881, which represented a 122X ROI. So you can see that the, the ROI from market cycle bottom is still pretty substantial. And while last cycle was a modest 122X, which was not nearly as much as it was the cycle before at 589X, there was still a lot of money to be made. I mean, 122X from market cycle bottom was still a substantial move. So currently, our bottom this cycle was around 3166. And so far, we're, we're currently at around 52K. This only represents right now a 16X. Okay, so from market cycle bottom to the current price of Bitcoin, we're only looking at a 16x. And I do think we will trend much higher this market cycle. If I had to guess, I, I've said many times before, a lot of the math when we when we talk about you know Bitcoin, the beauty of mathematics, or we look at Bitcoin regression over each cycle, what my guess is that it'll probably peak somewhere between 100 to 200 K. That's what I that's what I ultimately think is, is that's where it'll it'll ultimately peak. The reason I say that is because if we were to go up 122x from the bottom, that would put us in the $300,000 range, uh, $386,000. But as we've said before, if history is any indication, this may be too lofty of a goal, considering from this cycle to this cycle, we we had a, a lower overall return on investment. So or from this one to here. So this one was 122x, this one was 589x. So to get to 386,000, it would imply another 122x from market cycle bottom, which would probably be a lot harder to do considering the market capitalization up here was starting much higher than it was over here. Of course, there is, there is institutional money in the space. So it makes sense that 
Uh, there's a lot more money, but we need this money. We need this type of volume to push up to the six figure range. And I really do think that Bitcoin will make it to six figures this market cycle and probably will push past $100,000. I don't think that 100K will be the, the top of the entire market cycle. So with that said, currently from market cycle bottom, again, the price of Bitcoin is up 16X. Okay, you might say, well, okay, this one was divided by five approximately, therefore maybe this one's divided by five and we don't have that much further to go for the duration of the entire market cycle. Uh, I don't think it's going to quite work like that. I don't think it's just gonna be a divided by five each time. I think that it, it's not going to, to I, I still think there's a, a decent ROI available to Bitcoin over this cycle. Um, because a lot of the models that we have show that over 100K seems pretty doable even with some, even with fairly conservative estimates, and you guys know I take a more conservative approach. So even with conservative estimates, it seems that a 100K Bitcoin is very likely this market cycle. A 50X from the bottom would be 158,000. And something like this seems a lot more reasonable to me than say another 122X move. So we'll see, I, I generally think somewhere between 100 to 200K, but we'll ultimately have to wait and see. Now, going back to this chart, one of the things we've talked about before, so we'll touch on it here, is that each cycle, you can see that we drop a few log lines, okay? So the first cycle peaked at the green one, the second cycle peaked between the orange one and the yellow one, and then the third cycle peaked at the red one. So each cycle is falling down we've said before approximately two and a half log lines, but it's possible that that could break this cycle. And in fact, one could argue that it already has broken. If you, if you look closely here, say from the green one to between this point, this is about two and a half log lines down. And then from here, and I mean, it's not exact because uh, you could argue that this is even more than two and a half log lines down this first one because it went slightly over the green one. And then it's probably not even halfway here. Well, let's just approximate it two and a half. And then from here to here, it was also approximately two and a half. Well, to go from here down another two and a half would put us between the green and purple one, which is where we are now. But it seems like there's a very decent chance, a non-negligible chance, that we push past this historic drop of approximately two and a half log lines, which we've said is certainly possible this cycle. Now, one of the things we should say uh, that we, we can you know, that I think is important is that despite the fact that it might not be an exact number of log lines to fall, it would be somewhat very, I would say it would be very difficult for us to get back to the same log line that we peaked at in late 2017. Okay, so this one peaked at this green one, then this one peaks between the orange and yellow one, then this one was between the blue and red one. Um, so far, we're between purple and green. For us to give you an idea of how far away the current price is corresponding to the peak of this red one, we would be looking at almost a $200,000 Bitcoin today, uh, maybe around $175,000 Bitcoin. And it's only going to get further and further away with time unless we just continue moving. I mean, if we keep moving up this quickly, then we're getting closer to it. But the point is to say that by the end of 2021, this line will be at uh, 300K. By the end of 2022, uh, it'll be at 400k. So it's going to be getting very far away very quickly. And so I would say that the red line is probably, you know, something that's not theoretically attainable. Uh, but the green line, I mean, we're already almost at it. The, the blue line here that we're showing, which we peaked above last cycle, is currently already at 100k. Uh, so that's where this this blue line is by the end of 2021, it'll be closer to maybe 150K. By the end of 2022, it'll be closer to um, uh, 300K. So we'll keep an eye on these lines. The red line to me seems somewhat un unobtainable. Again, I'm not going to complain if we hit it, but let's just keep, let's just take it one week at a time and we'll do periodic, periodic updates on this model. For instance, you know, we could ultimately do something like this for all we know. So we'll have to take it one step at a time and see what transpires this market cycle. You guys know my th my general feelings on the cycle is that this cycle will be longer than the rest. There has been a lot more volatility. I will admit that earlier on than I thought there would be, 
But because, you know, from a fundamental perspective, institutional money is pouring into the market. Uh, I don't really see that necessarily stopping anytime soon. There's going to be corrections along the way, of course, but I do think it will be a longer cycle than the last one. And hopefully we can go and, and go up to well above a $100,000 Bitcoin. I would think, again, somewhere maybe between 100 to 200,000, but it's just an educated guess based on, on the idea that we probably won't go up another 122 extra market cycle bottom because that would put us at a three, almost a $400,000 Bitcoin. And the idea is that we're probably having diminishing returns as you measure it from market cycle bottom. That'll wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like the content, remember we have the premium list. You can check out the sale for that in the description below. You get access to the TradingView indicators, which we actually have this indicator in TradingView. You also get access to weekly reports, weekly videos, the Telegram alerts channel, the risk dashboard, and more. Make sure you guys check it out. You can lock in the lower rate as long as you don't cancel your monthly subscription. With that said, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's go for 125,000 subscribers. Give the video a thumbs up. Turn on your alerts. I'll see you next time. Bye.